What's up guys, long time no see. Sorry that I've been away for so long, but a lot of things just kept popping up in my life. We had a new addition to the family, uh, working on game projects, uh, doing a little bit of freelancing, learning new skills, yada yada, all that great stuff. But here we are with a new video as Amazon has released a new update for Lumberyard. It's the 1.7 uh, update. It's the biggest release so far with over 400 updates and fixes, uh, new features. Uh, some things to look out for, or some things to mention rather, are the new UX design, which actually looks pretty great, uh, especially compared to the old CryEngine look that they had before. Um, they have a new asset browser, which kind of updates on the go. And if you're familiar with uh, engines like Unity, if you were to model a character or a, um, a gun or a car and you were to save the source files in your, the game engine, <clears throat> sorry, the game project folder, and then you were to make changes later, then the engine updates those changes. So if you were to make a car and you added a, a fifth wheel or you added another barrel on a gun and you saved it inside of like say Blender, Moto, Maya, whatever, then Lumberyard would up the, update those changes automatically, which is pretty great. I always like that feature about Unity. Instead of having you didn't, instead of having to re-import the object, it just updates the file. So that's cool. There's more tweaks to the preview system. So guys, if you're not aware, uh, out right out the gate, Amazon was trying to pull away from the old entity system that CryEngine used. So a lot of the systems are under preview because they're moving over to a component-based system. And they just added and extended more of those features, added more components for like audio and some others, uh, which is gonna make it more uh, familiar if you're coming from Unity or even if you're coming from Unreal Engine because they, they both use a, a certain type of component system. So that's always great. There is a new deployment tool for mobile devices right inside of the editor, uh, which was always a feature I loved in Unity where if you had the phone connected and it was synced to the, to the to the game in the game engine and you hit uh, build and run after it built after the game was built it would run on the phone and you can play around the phone before instead of having to drag the APK onto the phone install it then open it it's kind of cut the middleman out the out the way so they incorporated that and that's cool uh, there's been updates to twitch uh, chat play updates to the uh, as I mentioned the component system and then they finally got support for the Visual Studio 2015, uh, which was much, much needed, like right out the gate. Overall, the update just reaffirms that Amazon is serious about making a great game engine overall and possibly a contender, if not an alternative to the bigger engines that we have out there today. But I was a little disappointed that it still does not support FBX animation importing. As the majority of the user base for any engine is most likely indie, you would think that they would incorporate different systems to support the tools that any developers use. Not everyone can or even wants to buy three or four thousand dollar products, <clears throat> Autodesk. So for those of us who use different applications like Moto, SketchUp, Blender, uh, insert your favorite package here, it is important that said game engine makes support for that. But I digress, updates are coming and it's only a matter of time before those changes are seen, are seen. So that's a plus and I'm looking forward to the future and what they have in store for us. I won't quite make a full leap to use the engine for my next project yet uh, because the FBX animation thing is a big deal. I mean, you can do everything in the engine. If you don't have any way to import animations or to bring your characters alive, then you're kind of stuck. But it has at least got me to want to play with the engine again. So I'm going to be getting back reacquainted with the engine uh, so I can start back making tutorials for the future. So if you guys are interested in checking out the 1.7 update, it is live on the website now. Go check it out. Go give your feedback to Amazon. Let them know what you like, what you don't like, so they can know how to move forward in the future. And let me know if this release is what's going to get you guys into using the engine 
or if you're going to hold off and wait for more releases, let me know below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit that like button. It helps the channel greatly. All right, guys, until next time, keep developing.